Hey, beautiful people of God, I just want to say to you, there's a lot of people saying that they're chosen. Chosen for what? When God chooses you, he calls you for something. Who are you and what are you? Because Satan has an army of people right now um, cloaking themselves as children of God, speaking with force. He's putting all kind of witching in their mouth for them to speak with force, lion serpents, seducing spirits, and they're all speaking the same message. These wig wearing face paint, eyelash wearing makeup face women, and these head cap wearing men and these chains of their change of slavery. These are the house slaves, okay? All right, the ones in the designer clothes, the ones in the vanity, they still don't remember that they're in captivity. The children of Israel and the children of Judah are in captivity. You cannot look at your next brother and sister who has the same black skin in you as you and try to get one up on them. You're all in captivity. But those house slaves, these designer clothes, designer car, mansion, and moving out of the hood to live beside their oppressor, house slaves think that they're better than you when they forget that they're in captivity just like you let me sh these are the false prophets of the they're not of god they work for satan and satan has a great job of deceiving these people because they call on the antichrist there's no been no deliverance with jc's name you know that look at the world all of you people all the wicked people call on jc all the witches and wizards call on jc that idol and they all preach the same damn message and you could see it they're not on your level. Don't go back. Look, you don't even know what is a false prophet or a fake, fake prophet when you see one. They preach the same message. Chosen ones. They're not on your level. Don't look back. These are Satan's agents. These are not ministers of the Most High. But you don't know when you see them. Look, chosen ones. They're not on your level. When you're called a chosen one, what are you chosen for? Are you chosen to be a preacher? Are you chosen to be a healer? Are you chosen to, for what? Are you a seer? What are you chosen for? God gives his children assignments. He doesn't give them, they don't have the same message because they don't have the same assignment. It's all going to go back to God's word, yes. They know the Bible, devils and the wicked and witches and wizards know the Bible just like you. They're trying to deceive you for Satan's kingdom. How much of them? God does not give his children a prophetic word every day. You have to fast. On the third day, he'll raise you up. If you're fasting with him, then you'll have a message like that. Them people come out here every day with messages. And if they had God, these women who you minister to you, they wouldn't be wearing no wig on their head. That's not even their hair. They can't even use their knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. God's not using those type of women. Are you crazy? With wigs and hair paint and and face paint, he's not using those women. But you think he is. And their nails? They're, Satan owns them. The marine kingdom owns their hair. When those devils are ready to say, give me my hair, who, who's going to stop them? That's their hair. Who could tell them not, take, not to take their own hair? When, when Satan comes for his nail polish and those fake nails, God gave you your own nails. You can grow them. God gave you your own hair for you to for it to grow out of your own head. You want to buy that so it can block your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, logic, and intellect. And then you come out here with your false prophet spirit and your spirits of Satan and your seducing spirits. You don't even know who's speaking through you. You don't even know who you're getting your visions from. You don't even know who you're getting your prophecy from because it ain't God with your wigs on your head. It ain't the Father. Not not the father who blew breath in Adam. No way. No way. But you people follow these people. These eyelash wearing people. You crazy. God gave your own eyelashes to grow out of your own eyelids. You people are deceived every day. You have eyes to see and you see not. You have ears to hear and you hear not. These are modern day Pharisees and these are modern day house slaves. They do what house slaves do. It's called priestcraft. If you read the book of Doctrine and Covenants, you'll know what these people do. It's called priest craft. And any of you who take out priest craft will be put to death. If you want me to bring out the scriptures, I will. 
That is priestcraft. This is Satan's word. Chosen ones. All of them are saying, you're chosen. Come on with this story, making you feel like you're greater than you are. God has to tell you you're chosen. God is the one who calls you. He chooses. Many are called. Few are chosen. You know you're chosen by God because he told you. You know you're called. You All of you, lot, all of you are called. Not all of you were chosen. But if you're chosen, tell me what you're chosen for. Are you a prophet? Are you a seer? Are you blessed with wisdom and understanding and knowledge? What what or did God call you for his kingdom to do for his people? Are you an evangelist? Are you a preacher? Are you a healer? What are you? Are you of his royal priesthood? Stop saying you're of God's royal priesthood because if you knew, you would have a job. Where is your keys of destiny? Where's your keys of knowledge? What what do you have when you say you're God's chosen? Chosen for what? If you're chosen, you're chosen for something. King David was chosen to be king. What are you chosen for? He was chosen a judge too. King Solomon chosen a judge. God even gives you your career. So you people come out here. God never gave you about no website, this and that. God will tell you to make a video and send a message for free to his people for them to hear you. What do? What is these people talking about? To take your money and preach words, God, preach God's word. It's called priestcraft. It's in the scriptures. You can read it in the book of doctrine and covenants. Okay, there's many things you don't know, even because you 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 limit yourself to just read the King James Bible, and that's it. There's many books to read. That's why even in your King James Bible, it tells you many books. Doctrine and covenant tells you many things. It tells you that Elijah has the keys to bring the hearts of the the husband, the fathers back to the children. So you guys think the keys, there's different keys. There's the key of the kingdom of heaven. There's the key of David. There's the key Elijah has. There's a key. There's different keys. You, you should know them because that is your power. But because you, you, you're not learning with God, you're learning with people, you're learning with Satan's agents, and you won't fast, and you won't pray. There's even keys to know if someone who's administering to you is telling the truth, but you limit yourself not to read. Blesses the man that read it. You know what they said, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Your problem is you only limit yourself to one book. All of them, the Torah, the Quran, the Bible, that's it, one book. Wow. You need many books to understand what's really going on. That is why you say you're a Muslim and a Christian and a, a Jew. I'm a child of God. I'm not in any part in religion. That is why you're you're closed-minded. Religion makes you closed-minded. You, you're not even at an open mind yet. You have you go from a closed mind to an open mind to an intellectual mind. From an intellectual mind to an understanding mind. From an understanding mind to a wise mind. But you people in religion, you're still at a closed mind. You never even got to an open mind. You don't read other books. You don't have a great understanding of God. You have great understanding of your idol, but you don't know the living God. 